wrote this, I didn't know Pepsi was a sponsor of Blocker. <laughs> I love Diet Coke. <laughs> it is my strength. It is my weakness. It's the big gulp swigging monkey on my back. But Diet Coke really is nature's perfect drink. No sugar, no calories, no nutrients. Just a sweet ass can full of chemicals that somehow squeaked by the FDA's stringent approval process and now happily rests in the hands of housewives everywhere. It's mana from heaven, only in convenient 12 pack form. My relationship with Diet Coke began many years ago, right after I broke up with bitter bastard Tab and rejected his fake lying ways. I was hurt. I was sad. I was pretty damn close to having a one-night stand with that loser, Mellow Yellow. But just when I had given up hope of ever finding true, no-calorie love, my salvation suddenly arrived, bursting out of a secret Atlanta laboratory and sending a river of tiny caramel color bubbles straight into my thirsty, waiting mouth. It was my carbonated soulmate, my tooth-staining sweetheart, my knight in shining aluminum. And we, Diet Coke and I, we're destined to live happily ever after. Almost. Because while I've been forever faithful to Diet Coke, straying only when I was pregnant and returning just as soon as the epidural wore off, <laughs> tragically, Diet Coke hasn't always been so true to me. Alas, DC's been a bit of a player, a hustler, a no-good, unfaithful jackass coming home late with someone else's lipstick on its sharp middle rim. You see, Diet Coke, Wanted to play the field, see what else was out there, maybe experiment a little. And so it began to betray me. First, it stepped out with caffeine free. Then it cheated on me with Splenda. And finally, one wild weekend in Miami, it went into a dark Cuban bar and hooked up with that brazen hussy wine. Wine! But each time, each time it left me, I took it back. I said I understood. I said that I knew it was just trying to find itself, and we were still meant to be together, right, baby? Right? <laughs> but now, now Diet Coke has forsaken me again, and this time, I fear my heart won't recover. Because this time, Diet Coke is getting its syrupy ass off the couch and joining a gym. He wants to be healthy, fit, a little less carcinogenic, if you will. <laughs> So DC has added vitamins and minerals into its regular harmful formula and is calling itself Diet Coke Plus. Uh-huh. Vitamins and minerals in Diet Coke. <laughs> For the love of God, what's next? Whole grain cigarettes? <laughs> Antioxidant Miller High Life? Slim Jim Soy? crap like B6 and B12 is actually good for you, does it really belong in a drink that explodes when it touches a Mentos? <laughs> or should those nutrients instead just be found in, oh, I don't know, food? <laughs> Not everything I eat or drink needs to be healthified. I'm a grown-up, so I supposedly know what's good for me. Fruit. And what isn't? Heroin. <laughs> and I should be able to choose, right? And what my heart wants is that same old, no vitamins, no minerals, no purpose, bad boy of a drink I first chose all those many years ago. So listen up, Diet Coke, and stop trying to change. I already know you're no good for me, but baby, I love you anyway. <laughs>